Camera one today, we have a very special guest. This is Pam. She's a machine learning engineer. She graduated from UC Berkeley with a major in applied mathematics. And she went to Technical University of Munich for her master's in computer science with a focus on machine learning. Today, she's going to give us the rundown on everything AI, ML, and everything I could possibly ask her in this session. Be sure to check out her new channel called The Tech Trance, and link will be in the description box below. Thanks, Sally, for the introduction. I'm really excited to be here, and also with another fellow engineer in the tech space. I think you are a unicorn, and obviously I want to have you on my channel. Oh. <laughs> I have like a list of questions, but I'm just going to like ask them off the top of my head. I was curious, so I was watching like the data science mock interview, and I was like, is data science machine learning? Is it AI? <laughs> Right? There, there is definitely a big confusion like between all of these like big buzzwords, right? Just starting with like data science. That's kind of like the era before AI. That's when like all of these apps came out and like everyone was on the internet and a lot of data was being collected. So then the field of data science became born. And that's more like a statistical approach to try to find correlations and patterns within the data that you've collected. For example, a customer likes to go to the gym at this hour and also go to the grocery store afterwards in the gym. And then machine learning is the field of computer science that has been really popular lately due to the rise of AI. But there, instead of doing like traditional statistical, statistical approaches, we do deep learning. And deep learning is where methods like neural networks and recognition and these words sound complicated, and that's because the computations are more complicated, and the work within it is more of a black box. But this does enable you to learn more complex tasks as well, which we see with ChatGPT. And then the next evolution of that is AI, which is the advancements of machine learning. So data science comes before the machine learning. It came before machine learning. Yeah. So in the field of technology and the internet, I think we've seen how it is. At first, when everyone was getting on the internet, everyone was jumping to create websites. And then when we bought the smartphone, everyone was rushing to create apps. And then with the creation of apps and websites and everyone being online, then we collected more data. From more data, the field of data science was good. <laughs> Uh, data science is more, um, more like business intelligence kind of thing. Then you need machine learning to be able to analyze everything. Data science and machine learning are overlapping in the sense that you want to understand the data that you have. They're different. Data science is more like basic methods. You can accomplish like simple tasks from that you can kind of analyze. When a person goes to the grocery store at this hour, they tend to buy foods of this sort. So that's kind of where the data science comes in. And then machine learning is you have a ton of data, but you don't try to analyze it. Also, the thing with machine learning is that you set a task. You give, you give it a task. For example, you want to detect a specific object in the image. You want to like track a dog as it crosses the street. Translating text. Do you work with data scientists? I do not work with data scientists. What is the input that you guys take in? There's two ways that a machine learning engineer can work with data. One is you collect data and then you label its ground truth, you annotate it with its ground truth. And for that, you can either create your own or you can utilize existing data sets. There's many, many different um, data sets available out there that you can just simply download. Or the other way is instead of creating like real data, like taking real images and labeling it, you can synthesize your own images. So you can, you know, create synthetic images. This is where concepts like rendering and computer graphics come in. So, if someone is a current developer, so they're not a machine learning engineer, like how do they become one? 
So I'm sure there's a lot of interest for others to enter. So if you already have a developer programming background, that's great. That will easily transfer into becoming a machine learning engineer as well. Some gaps that you would need to fill in are more on the theoretical side. So you would need to learn machine, you know, machine learning concepts, deep learning concepts, and then depending on where you want to apply these skills to, um, some popular fields are computer vision, natural language processing, or robotics. So you know, your nation also can have skills in those areas. There's a lot of resources available out there right now. A very popular course, the one provided by Stanford. Andrew MG is the icon for the deep learning field. So even though people can study like courses like from Stanford or Andrew thing, how do they know if they're ready to do the job? question. How to know that you're ready for a machine learning engineering role is largely dependent on the interview process. And the interview process, from what I've seen, will still include questions from the code. Uh, you should still... Uh, okay. Yeah. Some differences that you might see with machine learning, machine learning engineer is depending on the field that you apply into, whether that's like computer vision, natural language processing, or robotics field, or whatever it may be, so you might also get those application specific questions. Like domain question? Domain. In a tech interview, is there a system design question for machine learning? Yes, there is. For example, they would just ask, like, why would you use one method over two? Give an example of a method. Hit connection is a method, attention is a method. Self attention, MLP, multi layer perception, or FCN, as a fully connected network. We use an RNN, LSTM, like a bunch of different, different words of that. And you kind of pick and choose which one is most suitable for your team. So, connection is like a concept. Yes, yes. Machine learning concept. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's machine learning concept, it's called a method. Yeah, approach, method, concept. concept. I'm using them very interchangeably. Yeah. There's no concrete way to approach them. So, in an interview, they'll ask you, for a system design interview, they'll be like, why did you choose to do skip connections over match memorization? Yeah. Okay. Normalization, but yes. Give me an example of what a junior machine learning engineer does day to day. Sure. So a junior machine learning engineer would also write code and push to the code repository. And they would also be involved in reviewing other people's code. Because it's about how you know you know familiarize yourself with code base and also mix more skills and Methods. Typically, they probably do more of like the light, none of the heavy lifting, but some of the light lifting. Um, they play a support role, and most importantly, for a junior machine learning engineer, I would suggest to just always be too active in reaching out to some of the more senior engineers to learn from them and ask questions. That's a good Junior machine learning engineers could also be in charge of like collecting data and annotating data, running evaluations, and training models. There's a lot of things that junior machine learning engineers could do to do stuff. Pretty basic. So once you have the model that is trained, so you want to know how good it is, right? And at this point, you do what is called evaluation. You evaluate how good your model is. And there's also various approaches to that, depending on what your application is, what the task of your change model was. But that's like a whole nother, a whole nother thing. Yeah, that's a lot. You have a lot of components, but I'm sure with like software engineering, you know, you also have a lot of ways to validate your code as well, you know, maybe with unit tests and stuff. Yeah, validate your code. I can't imagine like a completely evaluating a trained model. So, what's the evaluating a trained model? We do have certain criteria and metrics by which we evaluate the model. For example, some common metrics are like 
recall and precision and on um, a task, if, for example, if you're doing pose estimation, you want to know what's the translation error like, what's the rotation error, all sorts of different pose I get this question a lot as well, like when I talk about like programming, being a developer, people are like, do you have to know math? Like, well, at least some math is good, but like the the programs do a lot of the work, so is it the same for you? Yeah, that's a good answer. When we learn machine learning in university, they will incorporate math concepts into it. Because after all, math is just such a fundamental thing for anything to do. That being said, will you use math in your day-to-day -day as a machine learning engineer in your corporate job? Probably not. But should be needed if you do enter into design and algorithm discussions with fellow engineers, it would be very beneficial to have that math background. Yeah, I don't know. So if someone just finished high school and they're about to start college and they want to become a machine learning engineer, should they follow your path where they take a major in computer science and minor in machine learning? For anyone who's a student and considering their machine learning options right now, I would suggest take machine learning courses while you're still in university and also do the machine learning projects and opportunities there. That would really help to build your resume and your experience in the field to make you a better candidate to get a full time job. I hope you all got more contacts about mature learning careers and the differences and learn more in general. So thank you to you for joining me. Uh, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!